Hi there everybody! It's me again, Laura, the philanthropy manager at the WCA. I'm really um, happy to be joining you on this beautiful fall day um, here at the downtown um, office, WCA. And just uh, want to talk to you a little bit about some things that we have coming up this week. And I know that um, for all of October, I've been talking a lot um, about this week and about our event that we have coming on. But before I talk about that, I do want to talk a little bit about We Are Women. Um, I know so many of you tuned in on Sunday at 6.30 to watch our concert um, with all of the funds going um, to children's services and to clinical, uh, clinical needs for children as well. So it's actually a special day for the We Are Women fundraiser because today is the last day um, for you to bid on auction items. And I know um, that my colleague Ellie is going to post shortly the link um, to the We Are Women women auction site there's some great things um, that you can bid on um, and the bidding ends today so please um, feel free to take a look follow that link um, and learn a little bit more about our services but also um, bid on some of the things that are there and again uh, so many thanks to so many of the community members that organized that for us um, Rocky and everybody else um, in our community um, that helped put that together it's such a wonderful um, event to be able to come Come together and listen to some live music on Sunday um, in honor of the WCA and the services that we provide and as you can probably hear I am outside um, so there's of course many cars driving past there's been nothing um, while we were setting up so um, just a little bit of sound there but please do take a look at that auction site um, and just see if there's anything that you're um, interested in bidding on um, and the next thing I want to do is kind of talk a little bit more about this week so October obviously is Domestic Violence Awareness Month and hopefully all month you've seen the real effort that we have uh, made to kind of try and get our information out there. Um, firstly, I wanted to share again our hotline. So our domestic violence hotline is 208-343-7025. Um, and that's a hotline that's available 24 hours for anybody that needs us um, to get the support and the help that they may need. And really that's why we do so much outreach um, you know and our outreach is just as important um, as our fundraising it helps us reach many people it helps us tell them um, about the services that we provide and so our event on Friday um, our healing begins with hope event and usually um, as you know this has been an in-person breakfast event um, but this year we had to change um, what we were doing Obviously with uh, the growing concerns around uh, COVID-19, we're super happy um, that we've been able um, to still put on a wonderful event for you to watch. It is um, a completely uh, virtual event. Um, it's going to take place um, over, actually there's gonna be three different watch parties. So this special day is actually gonna start at noon on Friday, uh, this coming Friday, Friday the 30th of October. It's an outreach and fundraising event um, and we have three watch parties. So there's three times to watch our video that we have put together. Uh, 12 noon on October 30th, 7 p.m. on October 31st, or uh, 10 a.m. on, uh, excuse me, 7 p.m. on October 30th, or 10 a.m. Um, on uh, October 31st and the reason why we are so excited about the fact that this event is virtual this year is because it increases visibility. We have had so many people um, that have registered already, over 500 people have registered to watch which is wonderful and so many people are from different parts of our community, not just based uh, here, people based um, all over the states and why we're really excited about that is because our video shares so much information about what domestic abuse looks like. Uh, it has survivors that have so courageously shared their stories um, and it's a real opportunity for you to learn and support our survivors. Um, as I said, the outreach is important, but as well as that, um, we do have a fundraising goal. And you'll find out more about that um, in our CEO update that we'll be sending out on Friday. But this year, our goal is high. It's $500,000 um, in pledges and one-time gifts. And the reason for that is because we need to be able to preserve our services and bring the stability that we need um, to continue uh, going forward. And I can see lots of people are joining us. Chris, hi, um, our wonderful communications manager has, has joined us today and 
um, so many other people because I'm really excited um, for what's to come um, over that 24 hour period from noon on October 30th till noon on October 31st. There's so many opportunities um, for you to get involved. You can share our Facebook post during that day, our social, other social media posts. You can of course register for the event, which I know um, that we are going to put uh, the link again um, in the comments box. So you'll be able to register, that's through Eventbrite. And when you register, you'll receive um, a link. And again, I can't stress enough, you know, we are excited to be able to share this event with you to so many more people. Um, and of course, the ability um, for us to preserve our services and bring the stability that we need um, does in part depend on the success of this event. We're all working super hard here to support survivors and by watching, you will show people that you support them when they're going through some of these very, very difficult things. Um, and I can see lots of other people are saying hi, hi to Jen and hi to anybody else um, that's watching. So I do hope that you will join us this week. Obviously there's gonna be a lot of um, an email, lots of social media posts about what we're doing and why we're doing it. And you know, we know that our goal is high this year, but that's because the increased need that we have seen for our services has been far greater than we could ever have imagined. The need for our hotlines, the need for our emergency uh, intakes at our shelter, just so many more people need us. And you know, you can find out more about those increased needs by joining us at one of those three watch parties. And the other thing that we will be talking a little bit about um, during that 24 hour period is some of the successes that we've seen. You'll hear um, from guests, um, survivors, speakers, about how the WCA has helped them on their journey. But importantly, we're also gonna share some details about some of the things that we're doing um, at the shelter this week to bring joy to the children that are living um, living with us right now. So obviously this week is Halloween. Halloween's looking very different for lots of people because of the global pandemic. But at the shelter, um, we're really excited. We've had so many great community partners that have come together to help us put on a really great um, Halloween party for all of the children at the shelter. And we're gonna talk more about that. Uh, during our event um, and I can see that Erin says hi to Erin is our core advocacy manager again that's another place that we've seen um, significant increases our court advocacy program since the courthouse closed Ada County Courthouse has been operating out of this building um, and we've been allowing people to have their 14 day hearings and their initial hearings for civil protection orders so I can't stress enough the need for our services is far greater one of the biggest things that you can do to help us is simply register and watch our events this weekend there's three opportunities to watch again i'll say those again because i know i said the wrong date before so it's on friday we have two opportunities 12 noon and one um, at uh, 7 p.m on friday and then on saturday we have 10 a.m um, on halloween on october 31st and we're going to be posting the link to register in our comments box you can also go directly to our website and you will see it listed as Healing Begins With Hope on our events section. There's also a little header that will come up um, that you can click on too. Um, but please do join us, share the registration link with friends and family who might also be interested in joining us. And then after you've watched it, share what you learnt with your uh, friends, family, colleagues, anybody that you think this would be relevant information for. It's, it is so important um, that we still have a successful event and we're excited because it's virtual and even more people can watch it. So. Um, we are just grateful for your support. The support that we've had um, has been so wonderful. Um, and I just wanna say, um, you know, that it's just really been a difficult time for lots of people. Um, and thank you so much for joining me today. I know that people are busy during lunch. I know that people are busy all the time at the moment. So I really appreciate you tuning in um, and listen to me talk about this event. And I know I've been talking about it um, in the last three uh, live at lunches that I've done. And I'm really excited because, um, you know, into November, I'll be able to sh share the success that we've had. 
Um, lots of people are really excited about the event already. Like I said, we're so lucky. We've already had over 500 people that have registered. We would really love to get that extra few hundred people um, that can learn from us and learn um, what survivors and victims of domestic abuse and sexual assault are going through in our community. So thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I'm hope to see many of you virtually um, over the 24 hour period this weekend. Um, and you know, thank you so much and please um, register when you can. Thanks.